there is mass effect on the central biliary duct. I'm a marketing and corporate communications manager for an insurance company. Okay, it was in 2017. I think I went to do a check and I said, oh, my stomach is big. I bet I have fibroids. Like I was just joking about it. And he said, I don't think so. But I said, okay, go and do a test. So I went somewhere. He sent me to a diagnostic clinic and I did uh, an ultrasound and I figured that I had fibroids then. But I didn't think anything of it at the time because I just said I had fibroids and said that some were big, but it's not so big and some were small. So I just, you know, it's 2017. Well, for me, my issue with it was that um, when I had my period, so I had two days when I bled a lot, so it was quite heavy. And I was always anemic, so that's the reason I went to the hospital, because I was always anemic. My blood count when I last did it prior to coming here was eight. And yeah, for me, it was the anemia. I used to have cramps. But for me, it was the anemia, the cramps, and the heavy period, and elongated period as well. So instead of like a six day, I would be going on for like 10 to 14 days of just constantly bleeding, which wasn't healthy for me at all. Well, the truth is, in Nigeria here, everybody talks about surgery. Then there's all these people selling these herbal medication, but I don't really believe in that because after people have done the herbal, and medication they still come back to surgery and I didn't really want to do surgery here I thought about it as I said going to London to do surgery but for me surgery was an option so I think I just sat down I said oh god just provide a solution so I just started googling and as I googled I saw UFE I'm like what's that so I just started reading up about it just looking at cases and stuff and I just thought okay I remember I made some calls around to certain hospitals here and they said they didn't do it How I knew about Uricare, there was a lady I met where I do my nails. So someone said she had a fibroid operation. So I spoke to her, got his number. I spoke to him on the phone, very friendly guy. We did a face-to-face -face meeting on via the mobile app and then connected to Uricare, his assistant. I went through the process, I did an MRI. And then on the set day, I came here, just the normal, came in early. Um, went through the information, gave me information about the operation and how long it will take and what they'll be doing. And the procedure, I think it was like about an hour, an hour and a half, not longer than that. And then I settled into the room here and I left the next morning. So it was straightforward. He explained everything to me as I got here and it was quite friendly. And he followed up as well. I'm that kind of person, I would never do surgery in Nigeria, not anything. It's just that the results are not always that great. But for some reason, I was calm about it. And when I heard about, I think I, I spoke to ladies about like three, two and a half months before my operation. And I was calm about it. I just prayed about it and said, God, show me any signs. Nothing happened. I came in here calm and I left calm and it was fine. Okay, so when I first came, they tell you how long it will take, like take a week, 10 days off work. Because of my schedule at work, the first week, really didn't do much that I could talk to people on the phone but I wasn't when I left here I was jumping around but I, I think by night time it hit me the pain they have these cramps so the first three days was tough but not so bad I, I have a high pain threshold and um, I went back to work the following week on Monday but I wasn't feeling too strong so I just took the rest of the week off so I stayed at home for like two weeks and um, by the second week, I stopped feeling the cramps. And by the third week, actually, I took the painkillers like per, per, has prescribed for the first three days, because there's quite a bit of them. By the end of that week, I stopped taking it. I just took it as and when. And by the second week, I was just taking it as when I felt the pain. So it was all right. For me, it was like, stayed on for two weeks and it was fine. By the third week, I didn't feel any pain. I didn't realize I had anything done. So it was fine. It was fantastic, actually. I've actually told quite a few people about it actually. So now I've seen my results, I'll tell them. So yeah, I would. I think for most people that have fibroids and don't want to go through the surgery option, this is one of the best options I see out there. 
it's non-invasive so you don't get cut up and the healing period is quite it's lesser than when you do normal surgery so yeah i'd recommend that anybody going through the same symptoms especially if you're having heavy periods is disrupting your life you should come and try it as i said i'm a living testimony so i have to say it's a blessing and thank you lord so yeah i'm happy My name is Dr. Hamed Nina Lowo. I'm a vascular and interventional radiologist. And one of the procedures that I offer uh, is a, a procedure called uterine fibroid embolization, which is a minimally invasive method uh, to treat fibroids without having to go through surgery. I met Ms. CE uh, earlier this year um, during video consultation while I was in America. And uh, at that time, she was seeking treatment options for uterine fibroids. She was actually referred to me by another one of my patients who I treated a month earlier. Uh, she was very energetic um, when she talked to me via video and um, was quite apprehensive about doing any type of surgical procedures in Nigeria. But again, I practiced in America and I also practice currently in Lagos uh, doing the same thing. And uh, we, she developed uh, a lot of confidence in the process and signed up to have a procedure done. Uh, she came in for a procedure just like any one of our patients. A procedure lasted about an hour. We were done with the procedure and she was able to go home uh, the next day. Uh, she showed up for our follow-up appointments uh, and gave us very positive uh, feedback on our progress. Uh, she significantly decreased in the rate of our bleeding and also decreased uh, the rate of our pain after the procedure. And again, remained very energetic. Uh, this is a procedure we've now offered in Lagos uh, for over a year now. Now women have the option of uh, either going to surgery or having a minimally invasive procedure uh, to treat their fibroids. The advantages again of uterine fibroid embolization is being able to go home by the next day and get up back on your feet in a very short period of time with very uh, a small amount of downtime and being able to go back to work in your regular life uh, without having fibroid symptoms anymore.